Two jail deaths in two days. First at five, the day after a 29 year old Bear County jail inmate died at a local hospital from COVID-19 complications. The sheriff's office says another inmate killed inside the jail. This death, the result of a gang attack involving three known Texas Mafia, uh, Texas Mexican Mafia members. Alicia Barrera explains what went wrong. We're waiting for retaliation. We're waiting on the other shoe to drop. Nerves are on edge after 40 year old Vincent Garcia was brutally attacked inside Bear County Jail by two fellow Texas Mexican Mafia members identified as 50 year old Ernesto Tavera and 28 year old Brandon Lerma. This is what we train for. This is what our special operations groups train for. And I can tell you that some of our preparations have involved uh, units that don't typically work in the jail. Uh, I can tell you our SWAT team is ready to respond. On Sunday at about 7 a.m. while conducting unit checks, Garcia asked to speak privately to the deputy on duty about his cellmates, Tabera and Lerma. All he would say was that he was uncomfortable in the living unit. Garcia was removed from the cell, but moments later, a BCSO cadet noticed warning lights activate, indicating a cell door had been disabled. The uh, cadet says that he looked up from the console and saw two inmates rushing out of a unit, out of a, out of a cell, and rushing toward the officer and toward the deputy and the inmate. Although Salazar could not disclose exactly how the door was disabled, he did say it's something deputies are specifically trained to be on the lookout for. Garcia died shortly after, and the two inmates have since been transferred to a higher security unit within the Bear County Jail as the Texas Rangers have taken over the investigation. The victim in this case, Garcia, was also an identified Texas Mexican Mafia member. And we know that he had multiple stab wounds to his upper to torso. Sheriff Salazar says that the weapon used in this case is described as a pointy one, and he couldn't go into detail. As for the cadet, as well as the deputy on scene and on duty, they have been placed on administrative leave as part of the investigation. Reporting live, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.